episode with the chef and the dietitian. I'm Chef AJ and I'm Juliana Heber, the plant-based dietitian. Together, we're the, the chef, chef and the dietitian, dietitian and we make healthy taste delicious. I'm actually on the left today, so don't get confused. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I decided because that... she's cooking today. <laughs> what a concept. Yes, I do have some recipes. I wanted to show you two things today, actually three things. First of all, I'm going to make a, a very simple quinoa that you can use as a side dish for anything. Quinoa is my favorite grain. It's such a great grain, and they call it a super grain because it's got so it's got like a great amino acid profile. A lot of different you know amino acids that make up protein, so it's a good source of protein, mm -hmm. good source of fiber, and all these other phytonutrients. Not that really we worry about getting a protein on this diet, but right. yes. but it is a good source. It's it a plant it's an ancient source. grain, I hear. Very very ancient. Yeah, true. Just like we are. No. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself. No. Right. So so I, so I wanted to show you about a, a good way to make an easy side dish and something you could add to stir fries or just, just have it always. I like to eat it just by itself. Or cold even. The other thing I wanted to show you is how easy it is to use a rice steamer. This is a really cool gadget, not expensive at all. You can get them anywhere and you literally just put, I'll show you, you put the food in, you, you push go and you leave it and it'll keep it warm until you're ready to eat it. It's, it's pretty cool. And the third thing I wanted to show you is I discovered this company called Dragonara and they have the most amazing salt free seasonings yeah. and they have some sauces too that are oil free and sugar free. Some of them are sugar free. Some of them have a little bit right. of sugar but uh, no salt most right. of them and no oil which we love because we, we don't like to use oil. We don't like sugar, oil or salt in case you've never seen this show before. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> so this is this really great, it's called Slim Spice seasoning and it's salt free, sugar free and it tastes good on everything. It's delicious. So and you know the episode where we made the faux parmesan? Yes. You could use that as well as your seasoning. Absolutely. Yeah, mix this with the mm -hmm. nutritional yeast. And we're gonna make something very similar like that with the quinoa. So anyway, they make a whole bunch of different they make curry powder Tuscan herb mix, Mediterranean seafood, they make a whole line of products that are salt free. So have you ever heard of the seafood diet? I see what I eat what I see. If I see food I eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember those days. <laughs> So anyway, by the way, you can just find, they have a website, dragunara.com, we'll link it to you, but it's it's a great site, you can just order it online. And they're starting to sell it, Whole Foods, I oh, think, great. too. Okay, so what you do is, this comes with your your rice maker, all you do is one, it's one to two for quinoa, so we have one cup of this, and then two times two of the water. If somebody wanted to use a low sodium vegetable broth instead of the water, they could? Great idea, because you're going to add a little bit more flavoring. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was perfect. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> She knew. <laughs> and then for this one, I just literally, you know, my shit I just yeah. kind of pour whatever I think you know, I feel is right. The only reason we measure is for you guys, but for yeah, ourselves. both of us, we just like we to go with our instincts. Okay, that's it. Done. Close it. And is it on? Push power. And for quinoa, I'm going to use the white rice setting because the brown rice goes a little longer and quinoa is a small grain. So I'm just going to push white rice. So even like a kid in the college dorm could make this. Yeah, that, that, that was the last time I had a rice steamer was right. when I was in college. That's it. And it'll be ready. It'll, or, it'll or be if you're camping, you know, it'd be great if you don't have a stove, if you have an electrical outlet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> camping. You go camping and I'm an <laughs> My car! Where do you camp? <laughs> I camp at the Beverly Hills Hotel. There you go. <gasps> it's beeping! Pee it's ready. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so it beeps and tells you it's ready. And if I didn't touch it, it would just kind of sit and warm. So all you do is you pop it open. Wow. And you see. It's beautiful. Yeah, and you just kind of stir it up a little bit. And what I do now to give it a little kind of extra zesty, cheesy thing is our, our favorite nutritional mm -hmm. yeast. We add just. Do you know that that is my friend Natala, who you also know, yes, called yes. it Nooch. Nooch! And I looked it up at Urban Dictionary, and it is that one of the slangs for it, but it also which Oh, you're kidding! Which also means something very dirty, too. You'll have to look it up yourself. Oh, I don't want to know. <laughs> but it also does... This is a G-rated show. Right. That's why I didn't say it. See, yeah. just like that. And then you've got this great easy side dish. It smells so good. Are you going to put the spices in with that? The spices are already in. We put the spices <gasps> in before we set it. So soon we forget how easy this is. It almost looks like macaroni and cheese. It does, and it kind of tastes like that. Mmm. Here, it tastes... Be honest, no. this is my first no, official will. recipe on the chef and the dietitian. Mm. Oh, that's hot. How'd you take a bite? I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Chefs don't have uh, heat sensors. No. Mm. It's so cheesy. I could see kids would really like this. You put some vegetables in it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or add it to your stir fries or eat it with mm -hmm. just by itself. I mean, I made it for the first time once. You know, a few months ago, I was like, oh, and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna have a little bit, a little bit more. I ate the whole. It's pot really good. It's, a, it's really delicious. I'll tell you when I said that. Mm. See how easy? What more could you want than delicious food prepared by beautiful women? Um, thank you. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. So, thank you so much.
much for watching another episode of The Chef and the Dietitian. And remember, if you want healthy in your kitchen, ask The Chef and the Dietitian. Ciao for now.